Hey, welcome to Cutting the Caboose. In this show, I am reviewing the new Bose Sound Sport Freeze, Bose's latest foray into the world of wireless earbuds. But $250 for a pair of gym earbuds? Really? So, truly wireless earbuds. That means there's no wire connecting them together. It means exactly what it sounds. The problem is, they've been huge. A lot of the Chinese companies have really struggled to make small, truly wireless ear pods. And that's because with a pair, with a, with a connecting wire, you can have the battery one side, the amplifier the other side, the radio in just one ear. So you can share the electronics out and so you can make them quite small. With truly wireless earbuds, it means that all the electronics have to be duplicated. Both sides need a battery, both sides need a radio, both sides need an amplifier. They can be pretty big. Now Bose say they've fixed all that with the new SoundSport Freeze, but have they? Well, okay, let's unbox these and see what we have. Let's switch to the overhead camera here. It's the usual nice pretty Bose packaging, very glossy box. It's a slip case. Let's pop this open ah, again. If you're familiar with Bose packaging, nothing new here. It folds open with some inspiring pictures of people running around being sportsy. And here's what they look like inside. We have the earbuds themselves in a hard plastic case, a little cardboard container, some user guides, some instructions, and the warranty information, some different sized ear cups, and a charging cable. Now, the first thing I notice is there's only one USB cable. That's good. A lot of the um, earlier and the cheaper wireless thing that needs a USB cable for each side or a Y splitter. So what Bose have done is they've put the charger into a case, which is exactly what Apple did. So the, uh, Bose are hardly the first here. And let's look inside the box. So it opens nicely, with a solid click when it's closed. You can see on the front, four LEDs show, or three at the moment, because it's not fully charged. Actually, it was up to five. So we can see the level of charge on the inside. We pop it open. We can see these two, if they're both solid white, it means they're fully charged. If they're blinking, they're charging. And what I find really satisfying is they're held in with magnets. That's really nice. And also, there's no external USB jack to charge these. It's all done through a contact strip, pins and the magnets there. And that should really help them with their waterproofing. There's something a lot of earbud manufacturers have had problems with, including Beats, including Bose, including Jaybird. They use contact charging rather than insert a plug charging. And that means they can make them much more sealed. So it'd be interesting to see how these work. I'll be honest, that is nice. That is a nice feel. Once the magnet is in, they don't fall out, even when it's open. So that's, that's what's in the box. That's what you get. Not much in there, to be honest with you. But hey, that's all you want, right? What are the specs? What's the what are the what are the scores on the doors here? It's good that you get a charging case out of the box. Although Bose have always charged for their case in the past, and it's been like fifty dollars or something, and the headphones were about one hundred and eighty dollars, so these are kind of the same price. But then you throw in the charging case, so they haven't really added anything here. Each earbud gets about five hours of charge. The charging case itself can hold about ten hours of charge or two full charges. So if you leave everything on full charge, you'll get about fifteen hours of use, which isn't bad. If you've used wireless earbuds before, they're the same as any other. Volume up, volume down, single click for pause and unpause, double click to go to the next track, triple click to go back a track, and there's also telephone controls in there too, but I can't remember what they are. Then on the other side, you've got your basic power button for on, off, and pairing. Something else that I really like about these is when you take one out of the case, once both sides are no longer charging, it immediately goes into Bluetooth connect mode. It powers them on automatically. And that's something that's really nice. Fiddling, trying to turn on your wireless earphones when you get to the gym, that's something that really bugs me. Because you put them on, you think, yes, let's go. Then you can't see the power light when you're trying to press them on in your ear. Then you turn them off, you turn them on, you turn them off. You put them into pairing mode. Just like, I didn't get... So what are they like? Well, I've been using them for well, quite a while now. So let's get them to the gym and see what we think. I'm on the treadmill. Put the new bows in, as you can see. Um, they sound great. For sport earbuds, they're really loud, louder than the beats. Now my only concern, I would say, other than 5K on a treadmill, they haven't slipped at all. But I'm not sure if I'd want to wear these outside, because something that I felt is if I did drop one and I was running, you could punt it over a fence or into the sea or something. Whereas in the gym, it's only gonna fall on the floor. So I guess, I'm not sure how um, confident I feel with them, with nothing, you know, just my ear holding them in, but they sound really good, loud. Uh, I'm not sure from a tonal point of view if they're as good as the, 
Sound Sports 3s for weightlifting, having no cable or anything, is super convenient. And they are properly loud. These are the loudest wireless earbuds I've tried so far. And this case, having everything charging built in, I've got to say that's really good too. So there we go, that was me at the gym, absolutely loving them. I think when I first used them, I declared them the best wireless earphones ever. I've used them a little more, and honestly, as much as I like them, I've kind of gone back to using my Powerbeats 3s. I don't know why, these are amazing, but I just find that the Powerbeats are a little lighter and a little bit less intrusive. Sound quality, oh, I think these are the best, I'll be honest with you. It's a bit, I, I, because I've got used to the Powerbeats 3, and this is something you have with all earphones, when you get used to the ones you wear a lot, you really like their sound. Going back and forth between these, these do sound better. However, there's a catch to that, because if you've got an open back design, in a noisy environment, the Powerbeats sound better, because I get better sealing with them, they seal this external sound out better. And so when the gym is quiet, I prefer these. So my Sunday morning quiet gym session, I'll grab these. When the gym is bouncing in the evenings during the week, then the, the power beats are better because it's just it's just so loud in there that my own earphones these don't these don't drum up the sound very well. And if you were buying these as a commuting pair of earphones, then like trains and things might be a problem. From a waterproof point of view, flawless. I put these to the test. I've done many, 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 many kilometers of running with them. All my workouts, up and down squats, everything on the machines, they didn't budge, they stayed in place. Now I have fairly normal sized ears, so I've never had a problem getting, you know, in-ear buds to fit. Some people might not, and you may need to get those foam little cups to on the outside instead. I'll put a link in the description. You know, I'm, I've got like average ears, but if you're outside that, then the foam cups which you have to buy extra may be a better option for you. I'm not sure I would use them outside, to be honest with you, even though they're ideal for outside because you can hear traffic and things coming. I'd have to be more confident with them as being a very secure fit before I use them outside. Forums of a lot of people who have been complaining about watching videos and lip syncing being a problem with these. And mine were updated to the very latest firmware before I started testing them. And the firmware, according to Bose, fixes video syncing issues. And I was at the gym, I was on the treadmill, I was watching Crunchyroll, I was watching YouTube. I had no problems with video sync whatsoever. Downside, there really are no frills. Other than being, a, you know, functionally no different to any other wireless earphone. There's no extras, there's no heart rate monitor, there's no dedicated memory of their own for, you know, so you can take them completely away from the phone. And for the money I'd kind of expect a little more, to be honest with you. For $250 they should be a no-brainer, and instead, hmm, I don't know, they're good, they're good. But the fact that I'm still using my Powerbeats, they're $100 less? I don't know. So let's sum it all up. First let's cover the good points. They sound freaking amazing. I mean, amazing. They are the best sounding wireless earphones I have, possibly even better than the Grado. They are just amazing. They are extremely water resistant. I mean, I really sweated the, on these. They were, they were wet, not a problem. Unlike any other earphone, every button function worked, the volume worked, they worked flawlessly every single time. So very, very water resistant. I found them an extremely comfortable and good fit. A little heavy, certainly heavier than the Powerbeats. And I think I perhaps notice them a little more than some of the wired wireless earphones. You know, the ones that are just connected. They are heavier because they've got more electronics. But, and I love the fact that they connect straight away out of the box and they never dropped signal once. So lots of good points. Bad points. They're kind of big and look a bit silly. You look like an extra from Doctor Who from behind. They don't look good. They, in a loud environment, you, you're going to want more volume. They are really expensive. 250 bucks. And if I wasn't buying them for, for a review, I probably wouldn't buy them. I would stick with the Powerbeats or the regular Sound Sports. And they're very basic. There's no frills at all for your money. And that's pretty much the end of the video. What do you think? What are your favourite earphones? Have you bought a pair of the Bose? What do you like? You leave your comments as always below. I love to get your feedback and hear what you think. If you like this, if this was useful to you, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike. And all the usual, leave your comments, likes, shares, etc. below. There's an alarm bell popping up there to subscribe and a subscribe button. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in the very next show. Thank you. Bye.